Peace of Lord, most high in Christ, bless. Like the brother was bringing out, you so-called blacks, you Hispanics, and you Native American Indians, you must wake up to this truth. You must understand who you are according to the Bible. You are the real Jews. You are the real Israelites. And you must wake up and repent. You must change. Read. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. What does the Bible say concerning you so-called blacks and you Hispanics? Read. And ye shall know the truth. And ye, brother, brother, come forth. Let us deal with you. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth. Read. And the truth shall make you free. And that truth shall make you free. Guess what? Black man, you're not free. You are in bondage. These other nations have you in bondage. The fact that you have to wake up every day to serve these other nations in order to survive, guess what? That should tell you you are in bondage. You're still in slavery. All right? We must wake up so we can get up out of this hell. You are in hell, black man. You are in hell. Read. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Uh -huh. That's it. And they answered him, We be Abraham's seed, uh -huh. and were never in bondage to any man. So that's the mindset of the so-called black man, right? We don't understand that we're in sin. We don't understand that we're in slavery. Everything's all good to us. But that's not what God says. God says you are in bondage. Read on. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin, Whosoever committed sin, That's all that floods our community. Brothers and sisters that sin, Read on. Is the servant of sin. You are the servant of sin, Right? You are, you serve your sin. Guess what? If the law says, Thou shalt not kill, and you are a murderer, guess what? You are a slave to that sin. If the law says, thou shalt not commit adultery, if the law says, thou shalt not com uh, commit adultery, if you commit adultery on a consistent basis and you don't repent, guess what? You are a servant to that sin. Read on. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. Right, so we must wake up and repent. Give me that uh, Acts uh, 319. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Young man over here, over by the auto zone. Y'all got to repent. Y'all got to wake up and keep God's commandments. My brother right here. How you doing, bro? You, you seen us out here before? Hey, come deal with us real quick. What's your nationality, bro? I don't want to say the wrong thing. No, no, no. Just say, look, look, we here to build with our brothers and our sisters. We yes, love sir. our people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we look at the state of our people, right, in a in a dead and, and horrible state. We we kill each other. We rob from each other. You know what I'm saying? We we uh, commit adultery with other uh, brothers' wives and things like that. Those things should not be going on right. within our own community. But guess right. what? We represent that. Right. We put it in our songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We watch, we watch movies concerning things like that and get entertained by it, right? So we gotta wake, we gotta change. You gotta understand who you really are. So what's your nationality? African American. So that's what the majority of our people believe, right? But is that according to the Bible? Who? Are, we Israel. You heard that before? Good. Cause that's who you really are. That's who God said you are. Right. So guess what? That means you got to start living like an Israelite right. and not like an African American, right? Because the reason why we do these things is because they told us as an African American, you do nigga stuff, right? You rob from each other, right? You, you kill each other out here in these streets, right? That's the life of an African American, but the life of, the, of an Israelite, right? We got to keep God's commandments. You understand that? So let me ask you a question, bro. Do you smoke at all? Yeah, I smoke. Corinthians. You smoke. You smoke weed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So as an Israelite, you got to quit that. You got to quit that. You got to quit the cigarettes. You got to put down the black your mouths. You got to put down the, the weed smoke. 
right? Because you're an Israelite. You're better than that. That's right. The Lord is, is going to hold you to that standard. You got to understand that, right? You don't want to die one day or you don't want to be in a situation that most going to be in. When Christ returns, they're going to still be in their sin. Some are going to be smoking weed right before he come. Right. You don't want to be that brother. Watch this. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Right. This is for you and your people. Most of us don't understand that. We don't understand that we are the temple of God. Right. When God was creating all people, he chose us to be the temple of him. Right. For him, him to use, use us as a vessel of honor. Right. A vessel of honor. Keeping his commandments. You understand? Right? That's who you are. What's your name, bro? Cook. Cook. Yes, sir. Brother Cook. All right. Read on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of God dwells in you. So when you smoking that weed, do you think God going to stay there? Hell no. He going to leave the building. Right? You don't want him to leave. You don't want him to leave the temple because something else is going to enter in. If God's not there, you right. understand? Right. What else? What's, what, what is that? What's going to enter in if God is not there? Let me ask you. You already know. You know. Or right. Who, who, who's, who's like the governor of hell? Right. What, what spirit, right, goes into others to try to compel them to enter and, and stay in hell? Or that hell state of mind. What spirit? What do we call him? Start with an S. Satan. 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 Right? So when you smoke weed, right? When you when you drink them 40s at the at the uh from the store, you take it home, right? You ain't you ain't doing nothing but that. Guess guess who's dealing with you at that point? There is no in-between, brother Cook. It's either you good or you bad. Right. You gotta understand that. And when Christ returns, he's coming back to divide the sheep from the goats. Yeah, yeah. Divide the, the good from the bad. Right? So what side are you going to be on? Oh, the, good side. the good side. So you got to put down that weed, Brother Cook. Ain't nobody else finna tell you that around you. Your friends, they're going to tell you, hey, bro, man, let's spark it up, bro. Like, go ahead, put that in the grinder so, so we can, you know, ha uh, have it in that certain form to, to roll up. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to tell you. But you got to deny that. You got to separate from evil because guess what? Evil does not last forever. Right? Evil is only for a temporary time. But we're living in a time of grace. Most people, they, they ain't going to take advantage of it in a good way. They're going to take advantage of, uh, advantage of it in an evil way. Meaning they're not going to use this time to fix themselves. They're going to stay smoking weed. Right. They're going to stay drunkards. Jeez. They're going to stay, you know, having sex with random bimbos out here in these streets. They're going to keep doing that up until the point of death or crisis return. You don't want that to be you. Read on. If any man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. him shall God destroy. So what's God going to do to you? He going to destroy you. Why? Because you are not fulfilling your purpose when he created you. You 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 doing any and everything he told you not to do. Like smoking weed. You got a girlfriend? You don't got a girlfriend, no wife or nothing? You single? Do you deal with women? So you 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 out here fornicating. That's off. That's that still goes according to this. You're defiling your temple. Right. You are defiling. Every time you sleep with a random woman out here and you don't plan on getting married to that sister, give me that in uh, Hebrews 13, right? You are defiling not only your temple, but hers, right? That's the, that's that even exchange of, of bad spirits. And we don't look at it like that. We look at it, damn, man, she bad, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't see that ass right there? What you talking about, bro? That's, that's, that's the thought process of us. But we got to change. We got to repent from that. Read. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all. So the relationship between a man and a woman, right? If y'all trying to deal sexually or that form of relationship, what does God honor? Brother Cook? Marriage. Marriage. What about boyfriend and girlfriend? What about baby mama, baby father? 
right? What about Sneaky Link? None of that stuff. If you ain't planning on marrying that sister, God says you better not do it. He says you better not do it, right? But we, we living out here in America to where they promote things like that. We hear that stuff in our music. We got the earbuds on, we got the headphones. That's all we hear. Yeah, I just, I just F that bitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go take his girl, Mr. Steal Your Girl, Trey Songs. you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all we listen to. That's all we take in as a people and we wonder why we're at the bottom of society. We wonder why we're in this dead state as a people, right? right? Why we can't get right because we continue to disobey the law. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!